Hey guys, so I am at work right now and I was just checking my email here and I've got some very exciting news for you. So a few months ago I made a video about uh, possibly a new iPod Touch coming out and it did take a little longer than expected but it is finally here. I have yet to see it and let's just get right into this because it's really exciting and I think I'm also going to be ordering it in this video. So let's check my email. Okay, so as you can see, I got this email from IPSW Downloads saying that Apple has released a new device, iPod 9.1. So hopefully this is legit. We're just going to go to apple.com. And nothing new on the front page, I don't think. Uh, let's go ahead and go to music. <coughs> and iPod Touch, new. So it looks like it's still the same picture, so they probably didn't change the design. But here it is, starting at 189, um, full speed. So looks exactly the same with all of the same colors as well. So nothing too exciting, but now with an A10 Fusion chip. And what else do we have here? Doesn't really look like a lot more. Um, you can now do actual group FaceTime because before, uh, you can only do audio group FaceTime on the iPod, so that'll be fun. Um, so let's go here to tech specs and see what is all new. So same colors and everything, exactly the same, except it looks like they removed some of the engravings down there to keep up with the newer Apple products. But we now have 32, 128, and uh, 256 gigabytes on an iPod. So. 199, 299, 399. Um, same dimensions and weight. It's got a 10 chip. Oops. Um, looks like about the same camera as well, except you can now um, capture the high efficiency format. Um, everything else is pretty much the same, unfortunately. Um, even they still kept the Bluetooth 4.1. It's funny. Um, so yeah. Not too much is new here, but I did sell my old iPod Touch 6th generation to, um, so I could buy this one. Um, so yeah, that's the new iPod Touch, I guess just really a new A10 chip, and that's about it. Um, same pricing and everything, and you get a new high tier storage option. So now, we are going to purchase this one, and I am going to be getting the red one and 32 gigabytes since I am broke. But it's still more than my old 16 gigabyte one. That kind of sucked. Um, so yes, I'm gonna favorite that. Oh, I'm probably not signed in. All right, so I'm now inside of the Apple Store app and I'm going to be placing my order. Engraving, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, so yeah, add to bag. And what else? Want some AirPods? No, I can't afford that. Um, so let's go ahead and check out. Apple ID password. Okay, sign in. And do I have my card? There we go. All right. It's gonna use up just about all of my money, but it's all right. Okay, place order. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, so now we can go ahead and place our order. Oh, never mind. Alright, now we can go ahead and place our order for the new iPod Touch 7th generation. And there we are. Send you a confirmation, your order number. Oh, I can add to Siri. Alright, well, we just ordered the new iPod Touch 7th generation order has been placed. So there you guys go, that is the iPod Touch 7th generation. Not too exciting, but we do get the A10 Fusion chip, as well as group FaceTime, um, new image formats, new features like that, and AR, better AR capabilities. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was pretty unexpected. I thought if it was going to come out, it would come out uh, next Monday, WWDC, June 3rd. Um, but this was a complete surprise, and I did promise myself I would order the new iPod Touch the day it came out. Um, but I was honestly losing hope there for a while. I didn't know if we would get one, but this is pretty exciting. I've always wanted the red one, so yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video, and peace.